Mid-10 sent me this laser bore sighter and they asked that I do a short unboxing and a quick review on it. So let's take a look at this. This is the style of laser bore sight that is going to go on the end of your barrel versus in the chamber or in the muzzle. Let's open this thing up and see what they sent here. So the box is well made. It is a very sturdy box. There's not a lot to it. It's not overly complicated like some packaging. Looks like we have some instructions here. We'll get to those in a minute. And this is how the unit comes packaged. Now this is packaged very nice. This is packaged like I would expect a high-end optic to come. There's some very dense foam in here that's cut out, holding this thing real secure. Now this bore sight is coming with the battery because we're gonna need this to power up the laser. And here is the bore sight. Now looking at the unit, appears to be well made. This is all nice machined aluminum from what I can tell. Uh, the end where the magnet is has some nice scribed rings. Now the way this is going to work is we're going to attach this with these rings. We're going to try to center this up on the end of a barrel. So you're going to take the muzzle, you're going to attach this, center this up, and send that laser beam down range. Now the battery compartment's well marked. It says battery on there. It appears the switch is right next to battery cover. I'm going to put this battery that they provided us inside here. I'll put the cap on. The thread seemed pretty nice and smooth on there. No grit and everything seems to go on good. Nice and tight. Now let's turn this on. There is our green laser. Now we've got a nice strong laser on there. Now I'm shining this onto my hand. There's warnings, I'm sure, on the box and all over on the unit about not looking into a laser. You never want to do that. Now this unit comes in both red and green. Now I elected for the green because this will show up better in bright daylight conditions. The red work fine as well. Green tend to cost more. I don't know why, but all lasers green do cost more. I don't know if it's a popularity thing or a manufacturing situation, but I do know that green lasers work better in bright light daylight conditions. So if you're shooting your firearms and you need to do some zeroing and getting your things on paper, going with the green for a couple extra bucks may be the way to go. Let's show you how you actually attach this. So I have got a spare barrel. Now this is not a whole firearm. I've just got a barrel here. And this is our muzzle here. So the way we would attach this is I'm going to look at these rings on here. I'm going to do my best to center up the muzzle with the rings that are on there. Now when I'm at the range, I'm simply going to point this thing down range at the target. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to send the green dot down to the bullseye. And then I'm going to just move around my sights or my scope to center everything up. And that's it. That's what laser bore sighting is. Now some people feel after I'm done doing that, I'm all done. I can go hunting. I can go to the range. I'm all zeroed. I'm all sighted in. That is not the case. You may say that's not a very precise setup. Well, it's precise enough. The intent of laser bore sighting is not to have a finished product. What this is doing is getting you closer to your bullseye to save you time and save you expensive ammunition. So spending a few bucks on this is much less money than sometimes the cost of half a box of high-end center fire cartridges. Those things can be $70, $80 a box. We're getting a unit like this or spending $50 on something like this in the long run after sighting in a few firearms, you definitely have saved money right off the get-go. So this here is the quick unboxing and overall review before we get this thing out to the field and actually put it to the test. Pretty confident this is going to work and do the job just fine. But this unit is from Mid-10. Check them out. It seems to be well-made, well-packaged, and I'm sure it's going to work all well. Until next time, keep on shooting.